We're going with the invert. We, they probably thought that I was going to have the ball, so we put our you know, best sticks back there. And um, they were trying to go to goal, and I was open up top, pump the shooting space. They didn't think we were going to get it, but we got it. And we practiced free pose all the time, so I knew it was going to go in. As athletes we got on this team, we play better against better teams, and in bigger games, we step up. Um, every single player in the team, from Everyone on this turf, from defense to offense, and midfield goalies, Hannah did an awesome job. Everyone's got each other's back, and everyone stayed calm, cool, collected. We were all composed at the whole, whole entire game. We were confident the entire game. We were just going play by play, and um, making the most out of every single possession. Claire was unbelievable today. She was the quarterback of our offense. She was composed. She deserved every minute of fame that she's going to get and got. She scored the game-winning goal, and every single one of us is so proud of her. Claire was the quarterback of our offense today. Um, she was able to execute every pass. She just behind behind the cage. She's just awesome behind the cage. Oh, she definitely capitalized on um, a lot of Hopkins' mistakes, and also um, like some of, even myself. I mean, I had a rough first half, and having her believe in our, each other, believe in all of us in the field, and believe in myself, also just made her look awesome. And she's just she's great. She finished all of her shots and. It was great just having her out there. I didn't think it was going to be this high score in the game. I thought the whole game would have been the way the, first, the second half was. Um, and, you know, a testament just to the way our kids were able to adjust on the fly and, and kind of settle in and change the game plan a little bit, um, which is something with, you know, to be honest with you, we've, we haven't really played many close games uh, in the early going, so, you know, we thought it was important for our kids to, you know, they showed a lot of, a lot of character, a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, Heart and, and lacrosse IQ to be able to change a whole entire weeks long game plan in really by the time I got in the locker room, seven minutes. This win's really big because we were a non ranked team and John Hopkins was ranked number 20th. Um, a lot of people don't really hear the name Stony Brook a lot in women's lacrosse, so this was a team effort. We won by one goal and we needed this going into the next three games that we're playing, which is Duke, Florida, and, Hop and Maryland. All the talk, all the write-ups from everyone all over the country just saying that we can't do it or we're not the better team uh, just motivates us more, especially me personally. I, got, I take that personally too. We were up a man for, with 2.51 to go, so we could have went to the cage and scored, but we felt like that was going to give them another possession. It was, you know, I'm like, your backup goalie is your backup goalie for a reason, you know, because you, you start you know, a little bit better. So um, based on all that, I just liked our offense. I, I, I thought I liked the looks that we were getting on offense all day. Um, we took the air out of the ball a little bit in the second half, but I felt like when we went to the cage, we got good looks. So I thought it was important for us, you know, at that point, let's hold for one. Let's make sure that if it's going to go to overtime, if it's going to go anywhere, but we'll at least have the opportunity for one of our best players to, to make a play. Um, Michelle's always unbelievable on the draw. She has a great stick. She's a great athlete. She gets her stick up, and she knows how to register the ball at the field. We knew that we needed the ball. Um, possession's really big in this game, and just chew down the clock a little bit and just remain having um, possession of the ball and just take it each second by second and just having trust within each other and having great team chemistry also contributed to our win today. I, I, I take things personally always and I, like I said earlier, you know, we walked out here and our, one of the club teams went out on the yellow jackets where he will wear a hop and stuff. So, you know, that, that stuff where, you know, hey, listen, I, and I told the kids about it in the locker room, I said, hey, all these kids are here from Long Island wearing John Hopkins stuff. That's stuff that, that should bother you. But guess what? If I was them, I'd be wearing John Hopkins stuff too because we haven't done anything yet. So to come here and beat Johns Hopkins in a game where so many people want to, wanted us to, and were looking forward to us falling on our face, for us to really overcome a lot of the adversity, big, you know, down two goals, down three goals, losing the starting goalie, you know, a lot of emotional things where average kids would go and hide. Um, I'll just tell you, for me personally, when we took over, people like, uh, you know, leaving where I left and then walking into the situation where they had four wins all last season, three wins the year before, um, and trying to convince kids 
that you could do it. You know, it's it, it's special. It means a lot. Personally, I know it means a lot for the university, and uh, and I just love the, the look on the kids' faces after the game. It's special. It's emotional. Yeah.